So we move on to the Triumph Hurdle, which is always a very interesting race. Um, this year is no different than any other year. We look at the likes of Sergino, who really has a huge profile. You know, he's a fantastic looking horse. He's big and strong. and He really is designed to be a chaser in the making. But his ability over hurdles is really, he, he is by far and away the best of these. There's a question mark over stable form, but I really think this horse is maybe above all of that. He looks to be very, very good. You have to bring in the likes of Marshall, who's another very big, imposing horse that ran a very, very good race in Dublin Racing Festival. He made the running that day, which probably wasn't ideal. Finished third. Storm Hart is also another horse that has, you know, been impressive throughout the season. But for me, if Sergino turns up to the form that he's shown all season, he's going to be very, very hard to beat. So the Gold Cup really is the feature race of the week. It's a fantastic Gold Cup. It's a really, really strong race from top to bottom. I think the weather is going to play a big part in it. Um, if there's rain about, any amount of rain uh, will play strongly towards Gallop and Deschamps. For me, he's, all his best form is on soft or heavy ground. He is a little bit vulnerable on drier conditions, which will bring in the likes of fast or slow. Lots of bringing in Shishkin, La Home Press, Hewick, even the King George winner, Brave Man's Game, who ran such a gallant race in defeat last year. Um, you know, if on the other hand it is a dry week and the ground does start to tighten up a little bit, you must remember it'll be virgin ground that is only used once a year, and that is for the Gold Cup only. Um, Fast or slow, is a, he's a fantastic horse. He is twice beating, beaten the favourite on drier, in drier conditions, maybe over inadequate trips for the favourite, but still, I don't have a worry for fast or slow stamina. He ran a very, very good race last year in a handicap chase, beaten by only Corrick Rambler, who went on to be you know, more than impressive in the Grand National. It's not a huge, surprise if Corrick Rambler does appear to be travelling coming down the hill also in the Gold Cup. He's a very, very talented horse. He loves Cheltenham. He's twice a winner around the track. We know he stays. We know he travels really well through his races. He hasn't had the best of seasons, but I think Lucinda Russell has a canny way of getting these horses to perform for the big day. And it wouldn't be a huge surprise to me if Corey Grambler at worst gets into the frame. As regards the winner, if the ground is soft or worse, Gallop de Champ is for me, you know, a worthy favourite. If the ground starts to dry up, I would be worried about him and I would be bringing fast or slow more and more into the equation.